Hello friends. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you, you know, how to automate the schema changes uh, with Azure Data Sync, right? So in my earlier video, uh, I had shown you how to synchronize the data between several databases uh, uh, with the help of an Azure Data Sync. But the problem there was that, you know, if the schema changes happens onto the tables, which are part of this synchronization uh, activity or synchronization group, then how to automate that, right? One way is to, you know, uh, you you do those all those changes onto the member databases or to the all the endpoints right but uh, if if there are like hundreds of uh, you know uh, endpoints then it becomes uh, difficult so the best way is to you know automate uh, you know uh, this uh, schema changes so one time uh, efforts and then you know it would uh, actually uh, help us in automating uh, throughout the life right so let us uh, see in action uh, now this i am going to you know uh, i am going to show you that uh, trick or maybe steps how to automate the schema changes now this we are going to do with the help of a database triggers like or a database level triggers right uh, so if you are not aware about what the triggers are what are dml triggers and what are ddl triggers then i would request you to go and you know check my uh, watch my video on triggers where i have explained uh, you know in detail about the dml triggers and ddl triggers right so here the simple option we would be doing is that we would be capturing the schema changes happening on the hub database so we are assuming that you know all the schema changes happens on the hub database so we would be capturing those schema changes and we would capturing the actual command also used for those schema changes we would be replicating those command to the member database and we would be executing that command onto the member database with the help of DML triggers written on the uh, schema changes uh, table onto the member database, right? So for this, uh, let us create uh, the table first. Uh, here I have, you know, taken the table schema changes uh, with ID, date, time, and this is the command text. Okay and we would be replicating this table between the member database. Now here, I'm not going to, you know, uh, do this for all the endpoints. I'm just going to you know synchronize this with a with uh, you know between the hub database and another azure database but believe me the same steps you can do for all other database as well right so uh, this has been created yes uh, this has been created okay and let me create this on my uh, azure database also which is a member database uh, let me create this okay so table has been created on both the ends now before we write a ddl trigger let us go back to the portal and let us you know add this table to the synchronization part so let us refresh this schema it will take slight time so i'm pausing the video here uh, once it you know it refreshes the schema i would come back okay so now it has refreshed and you can see the table is appearing we would select this table and then we would save this okay again it would take a slight time here uh, very quickly we should see the you know counter incrementing on the table side uh, just let us give a yeah so this has been incremented and you will see the message here that it has been synced so ginseng update right so now our this table is being getting synchronized okay so now the next step would be creating a database trigger on my hub database you will have to create this database level trigger on the hub database because we have assumed that the synchronization uh, schema changes would happen only on the hub database right so this ddl trigger should be created on the hub database here what we are doing we are you know whatever schema changes table we have created so whatever schema changes happen we are actually capturing the command text from this event data right and inserting into the schema changes table simply okay so let me create this database level trigger on hub database uh, so this has been created and if you want to see where this should be created so under hub database under programmability under database trigger just refresh this database trigger and you can see the trigger here right so now our uh, triggers are there and you should already see uh, so many commands might have been captured okay so this is not logs so this is changes okay so if you can see here 
okay currently and um, still nothing has been logged okay good and the same we we need to check whether anything has been logged here nothing is there right so now the last part would be uh, creating an trigger on member database on this table that is schema changes table okay so if you can see here we are creating an insert dml trigger on schema changes table and we are simply executing the command text which has been captured through ddl so now the path is something like that that schema changes are captured on hub database they are replicated to the member database and then with the help of dml trigger they are again you know executed on the member database okay so on the member you can see here i am on a member database and let me create this trigger so this trigger has been created here and if you want to check uh, let us refresh this it will take some time okay oh it has came back very quickly we are lucky so now if you can see on the under schema changes you can see the trigger here change log insert correct so now everything has been set and let us see if you know we do we have any schema changes yet not yet right so what i am doing here i am creating one table employee salary okay and i am p id integer and salary integer okay simple table i am creating here on the hub database so as soon as we create a table due to the ddl trigger right this would get captured here the same command which we have written you can see here the same command would get captured and hopefully within 5 10 second this should get replicated here see this has been get this got replicated and now on my azure database currently you can see there is no employee salary right so if you refresh here you can see employee salary table got created right so this is an automatic way whatever you schema changes you do on the hub database right the same would get you know with the help of this ddl and dml trigger the same would get actually executed on the member databases right and similarly so similarly we can do this for employee table so now if i alter any alter any changes to employee table so what we can do is alter table employee sorry yeah alter table employee add department let me check if we have this department column here or not we don't have right so add department and then where care 50 okay so now if you see here let me show you okay this was on azure azure uh, member itself right so we don't had any department column here so i i am executing this and you can see here with the schema changes this got here and hopefully we should when we refresh this see the department column is there okay now only step remain is step remaining is go to your tables right and again do a refresh schema and hopefully you should see that department table there okay it would take some time so again i am pausing this video for a while okay so now this has came back and you can see here our new column department earlier it was not selected so right so it has came back so we would select this column as well and then we would save this schema changes right and it should get completed within couple of seconds here once that is that's get completed now uh, we are ready to you know uh, do the changes on the employee so this has uh, been completed now if we go back now it's nothing like hub and member because see our data synchronization is bidirectional right so anything you know any updates on hub or member database can be synchronized so let us see select star from employee okay i am inserting one column here okay or else i am updating update 
employee i am doing this on hub and set department is equal to new this was a new department we actually inserted okay so this got updated here on the hub database okay let us see what is the status on our member database uh, yet it is not yet see this has been in, uh, synchronized and now from member database i am inserting one more record insert into i'm sorry employee now this time emp name and department okay values for department dpt and in my department name i would say new dpt okay i am inserting one record here so on member database it got inserted correctly and let us see what is the scenario on hub database it has not yet been synchronized uh, we have 5 seconds of uh, you know limit see here you can see here the for department and new department right guys so this way you know very quickly uh, now when you actually do this ddl and dml thing uh, again i am specifying you know the hierarchy what how the data synchronization would happen so for example schema changes on hub right those would get replicated on member databases and schema changes happens on member database with the help of dml triggers okay so this was a very quick video to show how the automatic changes happens on the member database uh, when you know you do some changes on the schema database uh, hub database right hope you have enjoyed uh, this video guys you know if you have not watched my earlier video related to azure data sync then i would suggest to you know watch that first and then come to this so that uh, you know you can understand what we are talking of right so as usual you know please uh, you know press a like button if you have liked my videos and don't forget to subscribe the channel also please share this videos with your colleagues and friends uh, right uh, thanks for watching these videos uh, meet you next time with next good topic till then bye take care